Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you an updated 2018 tour of our DIY camper. This is a camper that we renovated last year. Here is some footage from me touring it right when we got it last year, just so you can see what it looked like before. In the description box below and somewhere up in the right hand corner, I will leave a link to the video showing how we transformed the kitchen, how we transformed the dinette, the bathroom, um, how we did everything. But today I just wanted to show you how we've used it this year, how it's holding up, and just kind of a different way that I've styled it. So here is a tour of our camper this year. When you walk in the entrance, we have painted the cabinets. I have this little cute piece of art from Justine May. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. The flooring is just some vinyl plank flooring. It is holding up very, very well. I did buy a new duvet cover for the bed, kind of with some pink and some gold and gray tones. And I just used a simple scarf for the curtain just to add a little bit of lightness and some sparkle. The duvet cover is from Simons Canada and I just like that it added some pink into the camper. I had everything decorated in blues last year and I thought it'd be fun to throw in a little bit more feminine pinks in here. The paint in the camper is holding up very, very well. Um, and you might remember that I just finished doing the bathroom in here. I'll leave a link to that tour in the description box below. Here it is here. It's also holding up well so far. The tub and the toilet and the sink seem to be doing well with wear and tear of traveling. Pretty much for this whole camper, I just used a ton of paint and Again, I'm really happy with how it's holding up. Nothing is really chipping. I did notice that the white walls in the majority of the camper get dirty quite easily. I kind of wish I would have done the entire camper in a semi-gloss paint like I did in here. So if you're painting a camper, I'd maybe recommend not to do an eggshell like I did in most of the camper, but to go for a pearl or even a semi-gloss finish in the paint, just because it's easier to wipe down. This artwork here I just have hanging on a sticky hook on a 3M command hook. Uh, we take it down when we're traveling. And the slip cover on our jackknife sofa, sofa is holding up really well. The fabric is great, that indoor outdoor fabric. I just threw in some more fun cushions to decorate it. All the paint up top here is doing well. Our cupboards aren't chipping or anything and I definitely think that's because I put that varathene coating on top of everything that seems to keep all of that paint chip free. We don't use our oven too much, we only use it, our, our stove inside here on rainy days and I'm going to share a whole bunch of meals that we've done camping as well as some actual footage from one of our recent camping trips here next week so you can see how we use the stove in here when it's rainy and how we cook our meals and prepare our meals. All of the IKEA rods in here are still holding up really, really well. I just used regular wood screws to hold everything up. Also, this tile is fantastic. This peel and stick tile that I received from Smart Tiles, it has been sticking to the wall fantastically. Nothing is coming off. I would dec definitely recommend this product if you're renovating a camper as well. It's lightweight, it's great for travel. Also, everybody asks me about the contact paper counters. They're actually holding up really well too. I totally forgot to fix this handle here on the bottom cupboard, so I'm gonna have to do that. I often get asked about the fridge. I just painted that and varathene that the same as I did the rest of the cabinets. The reupholstered dinette is also doing well. The fabric's holding up well. And again, this artwork and all the things hanging, we just take those down when we travel and then I put them back up when we've arrived at our campsite. I really love these IKEA blackout blinds that we used. I'll try to find them and leave a link in the description box below. They're really helpful with our young kids to help them sleep a little bit better when we're traveling and they roll up and down really easily. I also like the really sleek look that they give our camper. The only thing that started peeling over the course of the year that we've had this is a little bit of the wallpaper 
um, above the dinette there and I just had to take some more wallpaper paste and just affix it to some of the corners. Otherwise everything else has been staying up on the walls. We have really extreme temperature changes here uh, from plus 30 degrees Celsius in the summer to minus 30 degrees Celsius in the winter. I'd say even despite that everything in here, all the finishes are holding up really well and we're really happy with how everything looks. I'd say this is probably my favorite DIY I've ever done. I think I can safely say that because we've already used it several times and it's just helped create so many awesome memories with me and my girls and my husband. It makes me actually want to camp. I'm not, I wasn't much of a camper before, but this has really helped us camp and it only cost us $1,000 to buy and about another $1,600 or so to renovate and it's been such a great investment. Thank you so much for taking this updated camper tour with me. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below what you think of our camper. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor ideas. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!